guys, welcome in or welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for joining me in today's video. Today we are going to be doing a Victoria's Secret haul of all of their body care that they have been releasing. They have been busy over at Victoria's Secret and I have had my eye on their stuff for like the past two months, <laughs> but I've been waiting for a sale. Okay, that's one thing with Victoria's Secret. I will try to wait for a sale because their sales are not as frequent as Bath & Body Works. So you kind of have to be a little bit more diligent to catch a sale over there. Usually there's stuff you can get for like 10 or $9, but that's just not good enough for me. I need it to be $6. So I think when I grabbed all this stuff, it was going for about, I want to say the sale was like $6 each or something like that. And then I had a coupon in the mail to where it dropped it down to like four dollars in my cart so I kind of went crazy before we get started let me tell you guys what I have on my lips going with this little vampy look today which I don't know how I feel about this it's it makes my teeth look really white though but um this is burnt violet from MAC it's it's like a lip tensity lipstick it says it's in the shade burnt violet it's this very dark vampy like plummy brown so very pretty and then i have a gloss on top this is the hershey's kisses gloss from glam light i need them to bring this collection back because this is a really i really do like their glosses it's not too sticky so if i ever saw this sometimes you can find these at like marshall's i think i got this at ross in like a set um love their glosses and it smells like hershey's chocolate too so i do love that so that's what i have on my lips right now We'll see how that holds up to the end of the video because it's not matte, so I don't know. It might move and slide around. We'll see. Well, I'm trying to think. Um, let me just say, I did not get every single thing from every single collection. I just cannot do that with uh, Victoria's Secret. They come out with too much, too frequent, too often, too much, <laughs> okay? So I did go in store, and I smelled a lot of these already to kind of see which ones I was wanting before I grabbed them so a lot of these I've already smelled I don't think I've worn I've only worn one of them so you know I haven't really worn them yet but I have sniffed them on the tester strips and stuff like that so I picked out ones that I think I would like the most um, out of the whole bunch that they had so um, first and foremost I grabbed I don't even know why I got so many backups of this but this is like Mm, I, I was thinking, is this my favorite scent from Victoria's Secret? It might be. Like, it's pretty much up there. This is the Vanilla and Dreamy. It's just the plain Vanilla and Dreamy. I don't know how long they've had this collection out because I already have this, I think, from over the summertime when they had it out. But they've kept this collection out for quite a while. So I don't know if this is a part of, like, their permanent line or what, but they need to keep this around forever okay this is the notes are fluffy vanilla golden caramel and coconut cloud this one took me by surprise because i don't really like coconut scents but the coconut in here just really works for me it doesn't feel like a tropical coconut it just makes it sm almost like a coconut cream pie is what it feels like okay <laughs> with the, the uh coconut cloud and then the caramel in there just makes it nice it's fluffy vanilla sweet this is like my favorite decadent little gourmand body lotion to put on when i get out the shower love this so i have three bottles of this now which is crazy i didn't even realize i bought two backups <sighs> love this scent it kind of does remind me a little bit of that one from hemp's that they came out with like over the winter last year vanilla frost mountain i have it over there on my tray um it kind of reminds me a little bit of that to be honest so if you know what that smells like then you would know what this is i did grab a backup of the body mist uh so this i just have two of these now so just wanted to get that out the way that is like my favorite vanilla scent from victoria's secret i do love that let's talk about this collection y'all um i've been seeing this floating around and from the moment i saw it i was like very curious i'm like all i first off i really love the packaging on these they just scream like a uh, winter wonderland like ski lodge i love the packaging on this collection i think it's so adorable well i must have just grabbed two out of the three cents of this collection okay because i think the one that i'm missing is called like is it super berry it's the berry one 
that I didn't get in this collection. I was not really the biggest fan of that one. I smelled it in store a couple times. It kind of reads like a summery scent to me. It's very fizzy, fruity, like tropical drink kind of thing. Maybe not tropical, but like like a fruity cocktail kind of drink. It's it's good, but it's just not really what I'm craving right now for body care. So I just passed on that. Um, but I did pick up these two, cocoa vanilla, and I picked up the warm cookie. And I also did grab the glazed vanilla and dreamy. So I was very curious about this one and how it compares to this one because I mean they do have the same base but I guess this one has supposed to be like a vanilla donut or something so I'm gonna smell this one again to see what I think. So we have a warm cookie. This one is gingerbread, vanilla icing, and gumdrops. I will say this is not like my favorite gourmand. I feel like with the name warm cookie I feel like this could have been a little bit more bakery sweet cookie like to me it doesn't really read as like a straight up like ooey gooey caramel or like a snickerdoodle it doesn't really read like a cookie to me but more than anything I really pick up on this gumdrop note like I was very curious about the gumdrop note in here on what that was going to smell like and I truly get gumdrops out of this which is crazy now, it is something gourmand and sweet underneath it with it, but I need to use the body. I think I need to use the body lotion with it to really see what I think. But I'm a little bit thrown off by the gumdrop thing going on in here because I think it just takes this in a different direction than what I was hoping for. I was kind of hoping for like your Christmas cookies from Bath and Body Works or maybe even like Snicker, the sugar snickerdoodle that they had. Yeah, it's just not as sweet as I would like it. So if you were hoping for something like the one from Bath and Body Works, the Christmas cookies, or even like Mary cookie, it's not as sweet as that. And as far as the gingerbread in here, I don't really get too much gingerbread. So like if you were thinking this was going to smell like a ginger snaps or something like that, I don't really get ginger. This, this kind of just, this one just kind of missed the mark for me. As far as like the notes are concerned, I think it's a nice scent. I just feel like it's a little bit misleading with the whole gingerbread kind of feel like you were hoping for a gingerbread cookie. I'm not really getting that. I'm gonna have to come back to that one and see what I really think, but right now I'm just kind of like 50-50 on that one. Now this one right here, cocoa vanilla, you guys. This one I really like. So the notes on cocoa vanilla are, it says whipped cream, melted chocolate, and mini marshmallows. On the back it says, a marshmallow topped vanilla tinged cup of Cocoa Bliss. I feel like, again, the notes are misleading on this one. I, at first, when I smelled this one, I was disappointed, to be honest, because I was expecting like almost like hot cocoa and cream from Bath & Body Works. I was expecting very strong chocolate, all right? There's not much chocolate in here. Um, you really have to like search. <laughs> You really have to search for the chocolate in here. It is so faint. So if you don't like chocolate scents, that could be a good thing. <laughs> but if you were hoping for a chocolate scent, like hence the name, Coco Vanilla, um, you might be a little bit disappointed. I actually, last night before I went to bed, I put this on. Um, I just sprayed it all over my shirt. I haven't used the lotion yet, but I sprayed it all over my shirt because I really wanted to figure out like, what am I smelling out of this? Because it's just very perplexing that they would say that this is supposed to be hot chocolate and I don't get any chocolate in here. This smells like, I know I say this a lot, but it smells like those conversation hearts that you get at, <laughs> at Valentine's Day. It does, it smells like a mix of that with the mini marshmallows that you get in a, in the hot cocoa mix. Like maybe even think like Lucky Charms, the little Lucky Charms marshmallows. Something like that. There is something a little bit fruity, just a tinge running through here that makes me pick up on like conversation hearts, but more than anything, you get like the vanilla marshmallow. But I really enjoyed having it on last night. I think this is a nice, it's very soft, mellow, almost like a vanilla marshmallow -y type of thing going on. So I like it. I just feel, I don't really think the name matches with how it smells. So just keep that in mind, okay? I like it. I like it. <laughs> um, I like it over the warm cookie. I will say that. Let's do this one next. This one is called gl the Glazed Vanilla and Dreamy. 
And the notes on this are vanilla donut, coconut cream, or creme, coconut creme, and soft caramel. So I really wasn't actually planning on getting this one till I went in the store and I smelled it. And I was like, you know what? This is not that bad. Um, let me spray this one again. This one changed for me, okay? So, like, when I sprayed it initially on the paper, I was like, it's okay. The magic of this one was when it dried down. It turned into that vanilla donut for me. Like, I actually do get the donut in here, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't, I'm trying to think, do I have any other donut body care? Well, I do have body butters and other things from, like, Pretty Girl Beauty that I use, or, like, even the Body Glaze from Canvas Beauty. That would probably be my, like, most realistic donut kind of thing. But I think this is really nice. Um, I don't really get too much of the coconut, which is cool with me because I don't really always vibe with coconut that well. Although right now I'm getting a lot of the coconut. <laughs> um, yeah, see, right now I'm getting this coconut, which is kind of cool. I wasn't getting the coconut before. Do I like it over this one? No, I don't. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't give you that. I still, this is still my number one vanilla and dreamy i still like this and also i know you guys are kind of curious like do these smell the same no they don't like it does they both have this coconut cloud or this one has coconut crumb this one has coconut cloud you kind of get that similar kind of thing going on in there but this one dries down to be more donut almost like cinnamony a little bit just a little hint of like a cinnamon donut almost. Yeah, okay. So you get more of like that vanilla icing on the don't like a Krispy Kreme donut kind of thing in the dry down. It's a lot sweeter than this one. Let's go to this one. This one was a lone one out of the bunch. This is like the only one that I picked up from this collection. A little side note, I do have more on the way. <laughs> I made more orders. I know, I know. There, I'll explain in another video. But um, for right now, this is the only one that I of this collection that I had in this order. Um, this is Velvet Petals Daydream. Y'all, I really like this Daydream collection that they came out with. I went in store and I smelled some of the other ones. Um, I keep forgetting that I have that fan on. I really enjoy this, this Daydream collection. Um, I was kind of curious. I was like, are they going to be different enough to warrant getting them over like if you have the originals and I really feel like they have a little something different than the original so this one is the velvet petals daydream it has airy bloom sweet cream and a delicate take on velvet petals this is nice these ones really just feel super delicate exactly like what it says it smells like silk and satin and like a dreamy like nice afternoon day when you're just like in the bed <laughs> and you feel like the light is coming through the, the window and it's just like a very relaxing type of setting they do just feel very like almost like fairy tale as exactly like what the packaging looks like is how they smell to me this is a beautiful scent like velvet petals i don't have the original of velvet petals so i really don't remember exactly what velvet petals smells like to me i don't really pick up anything fruity more than anything this is like a like a floral like a soft delicate powdery pink floral i don't maybe it's the packaging that's making me think pink but it's not too sweet it's a very soft almost musky powdery almost like maybe like a dove bar soap kind of like the pink dove soap dare i say <laughs> not too much of like a bar soap vibe i wouldn't say this is like a clean scent but it's like it's almost heading in that direction i could see myself enjoying this and wearing this year round this is like perfect if you work in like an office setting or a setting where you don't want to wear fragrances that are too loud you are just going to smell clean free fresh with this fragrance on so I really absolutely love this that's beautiful honestly every time I smell it I'm like wow and I do have a couple more on the way the blue one or is it the starlit collection because they have they have more already that have released like I can't keep up <laughs> with Victoria's Secret it's ridiculous now they have the starlit collection which we'll talk about that in another video because I have some of those on the way to me 
But as far as that Daydream collection, it's worth checking out because the ones that I smelled in that collection were really good. Let's move on to this little collection here. I don't know if these were in the same collection, but I picked out all of these. I have the Gilded Vanilla, I have the Lush Cherry Cream, and I grabbed the Chrome Peony. Um... I think I think these two will go to get go together because they have the same similar packaging. This one was in that collection with the cashmere. There was a rose one which was pink, and then there was also caramel, rich caramel vanilla. There was that one. There was this one, and then there. Like I said, there are so many I cannot keep up. So when I went in store, I just smelled the ones that I thought would be up my alley, and these are the ones that I, I liked the most. Gilded Vanilla looks like this. The notes on this one are jasmine. It says jasmine beans with creamy sandalwood and golden vanilla, all that glitters. I already wore this, and I absolutely love this scent. I I do not need another vanilla anything in my collection. I have so many different vanilla body butters, body creams, body sprays, perfumes, vanilla. I'm vanilla down, okay? <laughs> um, but when I smelled this, I was like, this grabbed me enough to where I was like, I need this to come home with me. I had a layering combo. I wore this yesterday to the um, voting polls when I was voting yesterday. And as soon as I walked in the door, the lady said, wow, you smell like cookies. <laughs> and I was like, oh, thank you. Um, now, I don't think it was this, but like all together of what I had on, it all really smelled beautiful. Um, I'm pretty sure she wasn't referring to this specifically because this is this doesn't come off as like a projecting type of scent. It's not. It's a very light. There is something, a little hint of fruity in there. Like maybe almost if it was like to have pears or something. Like you know, it does, it has something a little bit different. It's not, this is more like um, vanilla, icing, cakey, like frosting. But this one feels a little bit more sensual. Like, like it has some amber going through it. It doesn't say any amber. Um, it says sandalwood, which I don't really love sandalwood all the time. Um, I wouldn't say I get much floral, like the whole jasmine thing in here. I don't really get a lot of jasmine, so it's not too floral, but it does come off like this very nice, sensual. I enjoy this one. I think it's worth a sniff. Now, I do feel like for the majority of people out there, this could be a little bit redundant. I feel like this is your serious vanilla, if that makes sense. So it's not like your cakey vanilla icing frosting buttercream, whipped sugar, marshmallows. It's not that type of vanilla. This is more of like your serious vanilla, <laughs> if that makes sense. And I don't really feel like I have a lot of vanillas that fit that bill. So I'm okay with having that in my collection. Next up, let's do this Chrome Peony. Okay, I was seeing really great rave reviews from most of you guys here on YouTube about this one and in the community. Um, this one has notes of champagne sparkles with juicy raspberry and dewy peony. Nonstop shine. Okay, so this to me, this smells like champagne toast. Like overall, the overarching theme of this fragrance for me, it kind of just reminds me of like champagne toast if you were to have a stronger, if you were to have raspberries in champagne toast. I don't remember what the fruity note in champagne toast is. I don't remember if it's, I think it's like something citrusy in champagne toast, but it was like, it's like if you were to take champagne toast, take out the citrus and put raspberries in there. Kind of similar to champagne and um, strawberries and champagne from, from Victoria's Secret, but I would say I like this one more. Um, I don't really feel like I needed this one in my collection because it's very similar to a lot of other Bath and Body Works fragrances, like fruity body fragrances that I have from Bath and Body Works already. So it reminds me of like, even like Tutti Fruity Candy from Bath and Body Works. It has that kind of same thing. It's not as sweet as Tutti Fruity Candy, but very similar. This smells like to me if, okay, Champagne Toast feels like she's in high school, then Chrome Peony would be like graduating college with a law degree. Like that's the kind of thing. Like Champagne Toast feels a little bit more juvenile, playful, fruity, girly, young. This one feels like Champagne Toast a little bit more grown up. Same thing. They're sisters. They're both sisters. <laughs> okay. They have the same mother and father, but like 
She's a little bit more together. Um, she has a, some more florals in there. Just a hint of the florals in here make it feel a little bit more grown up me. So I like it. I just feel like it is a little bit redundant in my collection, if I'm being honest. So keep that in mind, okay? So that's what I feel about Chrome Peony. I did not get that one in the body lotion. I just feel like... Um, I was okay without that. I have a lot of different lotions that will pair well with that one. Okay, so next up we have, this one is called Lush Cherry Cream. Here we go. Okay, so Lush Cherry Cream, I did grab this one in the lotion as well. I just feel like you need both, okay? You have to have both if you're gonna get, if you're gonna get a scent like this, you have to layer it up. So the notes on this one are... Juicy raspberry mixes with a lush orchid and cherry. Irresistible. Y'all, I cannot really get a good read on this one. This one is very perplexing to me. I still, I've smelled this a ton of times. I've not worn this one and I feel like that's what I really need to do. I probably will wear this one to bed. You know, see what I feel about this one because I just, I really don't feel like I understand what I'm smelling. The opening, I get a lot of floral, which I don't hate that about it. It makes it almost like a very fresh, springy kind of floral in the opening, and then I feel like it dries down sweeter. But more than anything, in the beginning, it's like this raspberry with some florals. In the dry down, you get more of the cherry, and I really feel like the cherry will probably pop a little bit more in the cream. I haven't worn the cream yet, so I will say this smells different from all of my other cherry fragrances that I have like the old cherry that they came out with this summer pink line and then also like my ones from Bath and Body Works this is not like your lost cherry I sprayed it on top of the um strawberry snowflakes from Dua and it actually smells quite good <laughs> like I'm actually surprised I'm like did I just create something it's playing really well with this strawberry really good oh my gosh that's actually a really good combo um, I know people were saying this smells like those strawberry cream savers. I could see that comparison. I feel like maybe it might come out a little bit more creamy when I use the, the lotion. This is interesting. Like I said, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need more time with this one. I really just don't get this one at all. I, I do still feel like it smells completely different than like all of my other cherry body mist and perfumes and things like that definitely stands on its own the raspberry and the florals in this one really set it apart from those and make it kind of different next up i grabbed this was on sale this is the honey lavender body scrub so it says smoothing body scrub and exfoliant um this was like 5.99 on the site so i just threw this in it has this really cool color like it almost looks like there's like turmeric in here or something what's in here a bunch of oils maybe it's the honey would the honey make it look like that that's crazy it's lavender sunflower almond oil safflower seems very rich and oily like it's gonna be very moisturizing in the shower more than anything i'm getting i'm not even getting a lot of the honey which is good because i don't really love honey <laughs> this is nice this is nice i actually like this i was scared they had this in the other body care online and i i think they had this in the lotion but i just opted for the body scrub because i I have the honey, or maybe I sold it. I had the honey mist that was just like the plain honey from the pink line. And I didn't, I started to like not like it anymore. So I got rid of it. But the honey lavender is actually really nice. It's not even a strong lavender like you would think. It's not like a, like your aromatherapy kind of lavender. This is sweet. This is actually really good. It's like a vanilla honey lavender that's pretty good actually um is this the last thing this might be the last thing oh my gosh already we're down to the last thing so this is the mac vanilla bean and macadamia collection that i grabbed the body butter the scrub and the mist i was not sure how i was gonna feel about this line but i actually did go in store and smell it and i don't mind it it's pretty good now i will say i'm not super crazy about it to where I feel like I'm gonna need backups and, <laughs> and I'm never gonna be able to be without it um, I'm not at that level with it which is not really surprising to me because I, I kind of felt like the macadamia nutty kind of thing in here might be a little bit weird to me but the notes are it says indulge in the scent of vanilla bean and macadamia botanical inspiration lavish comfort um it just feels like a grown-up vanilla 
But to me, this more reads like a bedtime routine type of scent. It doesn't really feel like it's going to project that far. It's a very light, comforting, relaxing type of vanilla. There's a little bit of a hint of like a nut kind of thing, but I think they did very well with not making it too overpowering. The I think I'm going to really enjoy the body scrub. I've never tried a scrub from Victoria's Secret. And you guys know, I've said this before, I really like scrubs. Like anytime, when it comes to the shower, I like things that are gourmand. For some reason, especially with the scrub, I just feel, it just feels like a spa or decadent routine that I'm doing. I just love it when my body scrubs are like sweet, gourmand, vanilla, chocolatey, any of that stuff. So I feel like I'm going to really enjoy this one in particular. Yeah, it does smell something like almost, I was, I think I was saying that it smells like there's something a little bit smoky and woody in here, just a hint. But what I do really like about that collection is that the macadamia is not too much in there. It's it's a very light, nutty. So that is it for this um, haul collection, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, some of these I need to spend more time with. Um, my top out of this haul, obviously, I would say this one right here. I'm not going to rank these because I like them all. But I would say like my standouts that I really recommend would be obviously Vanilla and Dreamy. If you've never tried this one, I absolutely love that. It layers with literally everything. Vanilla and Dreamy I like in first place. I would say next actually would be this collect this one right here, the Cocoa Vanilla. I really like this one. It's playful. It's sweet. It just feels like when I had it on, I just was getting wafts of it. It didn't last long. I didn't have on the lotion though was just this. It just smelled good. It just smelled like I had like mini marshmallows from a hot chocolate. Now I didn't get a lot of chocolate in here, but I feel like this would layer with your more chocolatey scent. So this is fun. I'm going to enjoy this one. I really recommend that cocoa vanilla. And then I think in third place would be this velvet petals daydream. I'm probably going to wear this one the most out of all of these ones here. This one is just so beautiful. This is one that I could actually see myself wanting a back above. You know what I was thinking this reminds me of? This almost reminds me of Sugared Petals, that one that was in, I think it was like yellow packaging from that Gourmand collection that they came out with not too long ago. Think about the florals in that and how that just kind of felt very delicate and airy and like almost like a gardenia type of like creamy floral. That's what I get in this Velvet Petals Daydream. Similar to that, but I actually like this one a lot better. I would say in fourth place for me, all right, fourth place, I'm going to have to give it to this. <laughs> Gilded Vanilla. I actually really enjoy this one. It's kind of your basic vanilla, but I actually really like this one. I think it's like your nice, sensual, amber, grown-up vanilla, almost like maybe a little bit of like vanilla lace from back in the day. Kind of something like that. I really enjoy it. So I'm excited to layer that up with other stuff that I have. Okay, I don't know why I passed over this one, but this one would definitely be in fifth place for me. Glazed Vanilla and Dreamy. This might actually be a little bit higher up, but I kind of forgot about it. This one is really good, y'all. I feel like this, out of all of the Vanilla and Dreamy, Vanilla, whatever you want to call it from Victoria's Secret, I think they did a good job with this one. Now, the donut, vanilla donut thing could be a little bit stronger in here, but it's actually different from the majority of vanilla things that I've smelled from them. So I think they did a, did a good job. It's definitely giving vanilla donut, bake shop, gourmand. So I think if you are looking for like your true gourmand out of this collection, this one is definitely going to be your best bet if you're looking for sweet gourmand okay so that wraps up this video thank you for hanging out with me in this one leave me a comment down below if you picked up anything from this collection what were your thoughts subscribe if you're not already give me a like and i will see you all in the next video